there, moviegoers. My name is Ryan Wright. And I'm Jerry. I'm Arzu. Welcome to Reasons to See. Trailer-thon reviews. Where we go beyond your typical trailer reviews. And what else are we going to talk about? Well, let's hang out and find out. guys, so today on the show we're going to be doing comedy movies coming up yeah. soon. Yeah. We got a lot of movies. Check it. We're going to do The Hangover Part 3, The Heat, and Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn are going to reunite for the internship. I'm excited. I love comedy movies. Yes, I too like laughter. I like laughing a lot. Do you like laughing, Arzu? Me three. Arzu doesn't normally like movies, but I know that she can enjoy a comedy here and there, so I'm glad to have her on the show today. Except the R-rated comedies that give you nightmares. Anxiety. But anyways, you know, comedies to me are one of the most impressive things when you get it right. Imagine trying to make something for the whole world where everyone has to laugh at the same jokes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's a challenge right there. And when a movie can pull that off it's very very impressive it's kind of you know underrated too when they do that yeah. less so now but people kind of look at comedies like oh you're just making people laugh and it's easy to mistake just how difficult that is. yeah it's one of the hardest things to get right you know I don't laugh easily at things so I'm excited to watch these movies not really actually why not <laughs> Because, um, I'm excited to watch The Hangover, but um, the other ones, I don't even know what they are, to be completely honest with you. Well, that's that's why we're going to watch That's why we have trailers. Trailer. Perfect the interlude perfect trailer. into the first one. Let's do this. Here we go. The Hangover Part 3, people. Here we go. All right, this is coming out fairly soon. And I love the first one. Me too. Def. First one was sort of a magical experience. Second one was okay. Second one was all right. It's all right. I was, it was kind of like The Hangover exactly word for word, but in Thailand. But the first one is great. And uh, you didn't see the second one, right? No, I didn't. I, I wanted to, and then there were like a bunch of other movies I wanted to see before that, and then I never got Can I be around. honest? Yeah. I didn't see the second one either. Oh, you didn't see the second one? I was just trying to play it off like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> well, all right, all right, so we're in the same boat. This is good. Here's what you guys have to know. It's, it's, it's exactly like the first hangover, but in Thailand. But in Thailand. Okay. And there's also a monkey, right? There's a monkey and the, the funny Asian guy. What's his name? Oh, Ken Jeong? Jackie Chan? No. Oh. Yeah, so with, with this movie, uh, I, I've seen the trailer already, and I'm, I'm excited to watch it because it looks like they're bringing it back to that freshness that the first one had. It doesn't look like it's going to be beat for beat like the hangover part two. I'm hoping that's the case because it seems like I think uh, Todd Phillips is like, oh, this was always going to be a trilogy and from what I heard about the second one it didn't really seem like they had planned a trilogy out. It sort of seems like oh shit we gotta make another one uh, to put it in yeah. Thailand and now I think they've had enough time to think about it or they can make the third one really badass. What's your worst hangover experience? One time I woke up hungover and I was naked in a bed by myself and I had no idea how I got there. Oh, that doesn't sound like a Yeah, it wasn't fun. Maybe I just was making love to the bed or something. Yeah, I don't you, know. You found your camera hours later and it's just a bunch of pictures of you sitting alone Ooh. drinking a wine bottle. <laughs> yeah. I don't really have a great hangover story. The only time I was ever marginally hungover was at Disneyland. We spent the night in the hotel. Wow, that's bold. The happiest place on earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't get hungover that often because we are responsible people. That's right, right. Ryan. With, with that in mind, let's watch a trailer for a lot of very irresponsible adults. <laughs> yeah. Who clearly have drinking problems if this is the third time they're doing this. Some guys just can't handle it. <laughs> the fourth hangover is going to be about them and like Alcoholics Anonymous or something like that. Or <laughs> drugs. Oh yeah, they might yeah, no, they'll start doing drugs. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to stop being a funny movie and just an intense drama. She's rude. You hear that, Ma? Nobody likes you. Yeah, keep your mouth shut. Oh. <laughs> that movie looks funny. I, I am going to watch. It looks better than part two already based off the trailer. Yeah. The adventure looks bigger. I know you guys haven't seen part two, so you don't really know what I'm comparing it to. It looks like they got some fresh jokes, some fresh material. It looks like it doesn't just take place in one place, but they actually explore a lot more territory. Well, I'm it's excited. like more is at stake, you know? It's, it's a much more monumental story for these characters than just take my brother out for yeah. his bachelor party. You know? It's much more than we just got hung over and something bad has happened because of it. It's a result of the incidents that have occurred from getting hung over prior. 
actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Because you guys remember, the, uh, I always forget the actor's name, the, the Asian guy. Yeah, Ken Jeong. Jake Chan. Honestly, while I was watching the trailer, all I could think about was I'm so excited to go to Vegas and just make that movie myself. Wow, you want all that to happen? I want, you know, maybe not like jumping off um, one of the hotel buildings and singing I Believe I Can Fly. But um, other than that, I'm that pretty, pretty much funny. excited to just live life in Vegas. You know, that's what's cool about it because it does have that fun, adventurous feel. Yeah, it makes you want to have that fun. It makes you want to book that trip today. Yeah, like, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe not go exactly according to final, but you want to have a great time. Exactly. And it yeah. looks like it's going to be one hell of a great time. I just feel bad for Justin Bartha because it seems like every film they find a Who's way that? to... He's Doug. Oh, he's the guy. He's the part. He's the he's guy. He's the guy who's part who's of the girl. Oh, he's not with the girl for most of the movie. <laughs> you know, I don't remember who it was, but the other week someone told me that I remind them of the guy with the beard in Hangover. That was me. Oh, was it? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> you Did you really look, say that? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> you don't look anything like Zach. It was like my, look at my behavior yeah. is like is similar to his behavior. <laughs> yeah. I didn't really know how to take that. So you're but, Bradley Cooper, I'm Ed Helms, and you're Zach. You know, Gattin Bradley is. Cooper is really attractive. You know what's funny? Right, I'm Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <I'm Brad Helms. laughs> But it's interesting about it is Bradley Cooper is the most famous and respected one, but they're really making the lead actor uh, the guy with the beard. The beard has the yeah, beard Zach, headed, beard. Beard. Zach Galifianakis. Because right. Zach Galifianakis, I loved, he's a comedian who always does a lot of his stand-up routines on the piano, and I loved him before I saw The Hangover. So when I saw him in The Hangover, it was great, and since that movie, he's become like a superstar. So I can yeah. see why they're making him the main focus. You know, it just looks like one hell of a good time, and it looks like they, they, they noticed the flaws of the second one, and I'm I'm hoping it's how they improved upon it. Plus, now we get the showdown between Zach Galifianakis and the female Zach Galifianakis. What? Melissa McCarthy. Oh yeah, because they're both fat and obnoxious. <laughs> so that's what makes it. I mean, they, like uh, besides the girl, the fat girl from Bridesmaids. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it seems like lately they've just taken her career and made her the female Zach Galifianakis. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. To see them show down is going to be exciting. There's always a random animal in the movie. Yeah, it's like a giraffe. Like, there's like a, a oh, yeah, that's right. It's a trademark. What was event. it in the first one? First one was a tiger. Tiger, and the second one I didn't see it. it it's, was, a, it's a monkey. It's a, right, it was a monkey. Okay, got it. So this one, it's a, it's a giraffe. That's a good observation. There's hey, no baby. You in pay this attention. One. Look at me. Ryan's consensus. The Hangover Part Three looks like one hell of a good time. The Hangover Part Three looks like one hell of a good time. Yeah, this looks like one hell of an adventure, and I can't wait to party with the Wolf Pack. Jerry's consensus. Yeah, The Hangover Three looks like a good time, and I'm gonna be there to have a good time. Jerry thinks The Hangover Three looks like a good time, and he's gonna be there. I'm excited for uh, the wolf pack again. It looks like they may have improved on some things. Arzu's consensus. I'm gonna watch The Hangover 3 and then go to Vegas. Arzu's gonna watch The Hangover 3 and then go to Vegas. I can't wait to see this movie because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun in the theater where I normally don't like being and I'm gonna leave the movie with like a bunch of good vibes, positivity, energy. Alright, so let's move on to the next film, peeps. And that, of course, being The Heat. Can't Not the one with Al Pacino or Robert De Niro, no. This is no. with Sandra Bullock and uh, the big girl from uh, Bridesmaids. Bad girl from Melissa Bridesmaids. McCarthy. Yeah, Melissa McCarthy. She has a name, but for our zoo, I have to break it down like that. Sorry. <laughs> this movie is from the director of Bridesmaids. That's all I pretty much know about it. I'm excited to see it because Sandra Bullock is a good actress, and Melissa McCarthy's really making her way into the movie business and constantly gets respect for almost every role she does, even though it's always some fat, obnoxious chick. <laughs> so. For identity. No, for even an identity thief, people credit her a lot. Yeah, that's true. She's, she's fine. I, I don't know much about this film, so I can't really comment on it. Let's watch the fucking trailer. Put the guns in the bag and slide it over now. I guess you and her are kind of engaged now, huh? What? You just gave me a ring, motherfucker! I'm gonna check that shit out. I like action buddy comedies, and uh, this director clearly likes to make movies for females. I want to watch it because it looks like it has a fresh take on it. 
It doesn't look like something that's bombarded with action, but more focused on the comedy. It's great to see Sandra Bullock bring her comedic chops again. Because mm -hmm. we all expect that from Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. But, you know, Sandra Bullock has some strong comedic chops. Yeah, I hope it's good. I'm, I'm not entirely sold by it. Like, I've only seen Bridesmaids that I know is Paul Feig's work. First big comedy is great, and then it's usually hard to follow up, it seems like. You know, you have, like, Zombieland, which people loved, and then that guy's next movie people weren't so hot about. And that happens a lot with comedies, so I'm cautiously optimistic, I well, guess. Well, Zombie Line was a different situation, because that was a huge high concept plot, and then he brought it down to a much smaller scale. Whereas this, they, they kind of intensified the story even more, because this is an action movie as well. So you got a lot more elements at play here. But from a female perspective, starring two females, what do you think? It looks okay. Like Jerry said, I wasn't completely sold on it, but it just looks like something I've kind of seen before. I'll see it, but it's more of a rental to me. It's not something that I would hmm. go to the theaters and see. But, you know, the opening scene was with the black man. That black man was like, oh, for sure, I'm going to see this movie. And then... I guess we've established that Arzu likes black men. <laughs> <laughs> That's... It looks all right. It doesn't look too promising. It looks like a good laugh, but um, I don't know if it's something I'd invest my time in. You know what's weird? I do agree with you. It does look familiar, but there's something that looks fresh at the same time. So that's why I'll check it out. It seems like the kind of thing that could get overly sticky, which kind of worries me because I gotta really like someone's shtick to be wanting to watch it for two hours. Ryan's consensus. The Heat looks like a fresh take on an action comedy. The Heat looks like a fresh take on an action comedy. Melissa McCarthy is uh, a funny fat chick and Sandra Bullock is a hot funny chick. Jerry's consensus. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about The Heat. Jerry is cautiously optimistic about The Heat. You know, I like Sandra Bullock. I like Melissa McCarthy for the most part. I'm hoping it's a good time and I always like to see chicks kicking ass. Arzu's consensus. It's cool. Um, I'll see it if I have time. Arzu will see the movie if she has time. Yeah, I mean, if I have nothing else to do, I guess I'll go watch The Heat. Next flick is The Internship. Oh boy. All right, Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson are back together. You've seen Wedding Crashers, right? No. You haven't seen Wedding what? Crashers? No. Even I have seen Wedding Crashers. Sorry. Oh my god, I have not seen Wedding Crashers. I haven't lived, huh? We're gonna watch Wedding Crashers. That movie is fucking hilarious. What do you mean? Why won't you watch it? I don't know. Two guys wanting to bone chicks at weddings? Your type of movie, Arzu. Jesus Christ. I've seen the trailer for this. Does not look as good as Wedding Crashers. It doesn't even look like it comes close to being as good as Wedding Crashers. Though. I don't think it wants to be Wedding Crashers. I know it doesn't, but it, there seems to be a lack of energy and enthusiasm that usually comes from these two stars. But, it, it, you know, Vince Vaughn, ever since Wedding Crashers, has not made so many great films. Same can be said for Owen Wilson. Yeah. So, you know, I'm hoping that there's something in their chemistry that reunites them and brings them back to having that fresh flow because it's just a trailer. I mean, I like both of those guys. For some reason, there's something about when Vince Vaughn is playing a semi-dumb, nice guy, it doesn't tend to work for some reason. Like, when he's doing his Vince Vaughn thing where he's super sarcastic, you know, sarcastic guy, like in Wedding Crashers, that's when it seems to work the most for me. So, I don't know. I don't know how much I buy him in that kind of a role, the way I would buy even Owen Wilson in that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, and since Wedding Crashers, uh, Vince Vaughn has been more of a, of a box office appeal than Owen Wilson has, so I know yeah. Vince Vaughn is getting the lead part in this one above Owen Wilson. Do you know who they are? I don't know what you guys just said. <laughs> okay, Fine. with that in mind, uh, enough that's, keys for that's you That's why we have the trailer. That's why we're going to watch the trailer, so we can refresh you on who Vince Vaughn is. <laughs> Why don't the two of you guys go and find the programmer? His name is Charles Xavier. He's a professor. He's in a wheelchair. Charles Xavier? Well, you found me out. Cyclops, Rogue, we're all here. Now come closer. Oh my god! <laughs> professor Xavier's a total. Yeah, okay, that's the second time I've seen that trailer. Uh, it doesn't look like it's getting any better for me. <laughs> I, yeah. It actually, the, honestly, the jokes look a little cheap. They all look rehashed. The only thing that's kind of fresh about it is the concept of having a movie take place at Google, which is an interesting concept, but the execution honestly doesn't appeal to me at all. The most appealing thing about this trailer to me is the supporting cast. Like, I find myself, I don't really laugh at trailers that much because, like, there's no context for the jokes, but the supporting cast is what had me the most amused in that trailer. I don't know, Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson just, 
I don't know, there's only so much they can elevate, you know. Are these the guys in Step Brothers? No, that's no. Uh, Will Ferrell and uh, John C. Reilly. John C. Riley. Oh. This but. film doesn't look too, like, appealing just because I feel like I can be in the movie. You know what I mean? Like, did you see the cast? They were, like, young teenagers, and I felt like I saw myself having the capability of participating in the movie. And it What's was wrong with that? Nothing, but it that was just, like... Readable. It wasn't eye-catching. It wasn't anything different. It wasn't moving. I don't know. The, I guess the reason why they would do that is because they're trying to get the people who are a little bit older who appeal to Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn, and then the younger generation is like, ooh, there's a bunch of teens, too. The marketing concept makes sense. Uh, I guess they have a good marketing campaign going on. People are probably going to check it out just because it's them reuniting after the awesome Wedding Crashers, but truth be told, None of us really seem that interested in it. I feel like the coolest thing about this movie was school. Ryan's consensus! The internship doesn't look like it'll deliver. The internship doesn't look like it'll deliver. Yeah, honestly, uh, I was excited to hear they're reuniting, but after seeing what the footage are offering us, not so excited. Jerry's consensus. Yeah, as of right now, I can kind of take or leave the internship. Jerry can take or leave the internship. Like, I, it could be good. It doesn't look like anything particularly great in either way. It looks like it'll be squarely okay. Arzu's consensus. I definitely don't think I'm seeing the movie. Arzu definitely doesn't think she's seeing the movie. It just looks like a waste of time on a Friday night. Alright guys, thanks for checking out our video. Why don't you go ahead, scroll to that comment box and tell us your anticipation or your unanticipation for these movies that are coming up. And if you want to check out our actual movie review show, why don't you click this link right here for reasons to see. And if you want to see more trailer thon reviews, why don't you click the link right here. And last but not least, if you want to get updated every time a new review or trailer thon is up, subscribe right here. You see that? You, see that? Yeah, let's, uh, there we go. Much better now. Much better. A little bit of cleavage goes a long way. It Remember that. It really does. Remember that. My mom would tell me that all the time. And, and you know, it really panned out. You know, me. the proper motherly advice is less is more. Less is more. But more is also more. You know, the internship would look better if it took place in the porn in industry, on, on the internet. I don't you think know? the porn industry can afford to have interns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Actually, no, it's probably run entirely by interns. You're right. Yeah. They can't afford to pay for anything. Just show us your boobs, Arzu.